real big concern in education today is the digital divide because schools may want to expose kids to technology, but they just simply don't have it in the budget. WBZ is committed to highlighting innovative ideas in education that work. And when one local teacher wanted a 3D printer right. for her students, she didn't let money stand in her way. She turned to creative fundraising to make it happen. This is an iPod case that I made for my iPod. Wire holder, I guess you could call it. Well, I keep losing my pencils at school, so I just made this pencil holder. Problem solving in Plymouth in 3D. Did you measure this right here? Technology integration specialist Karen Winsper helps these fourth graders at Nathaniel Morton Elementary School with a design challenge using a new 3D printer program. Students like Jacob Petrarca were free to create to learn. Well, everybody was going with like the basic like squares and circles. I wanted something like different. I just wanted to spice it up. They had to do measurements. They had to rescale. They had to change things. It was huge. Do you think every school should have a 3D printer? I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. You can turn your ideas into real things. The kids can make amazing things, but for an elementary school, a 3D printer can be expensive. This one was $2,500. Using her own problem-solving skills, Mrs. Winsper used technology to get technology. Had kind of a vision of what I wanted to do, but I, I think you need to get over the fear. She saw on Twitter that MakerBot was trying to get a 3D printer into every school in America. I jumped on it and put in a proposal uh, through Donors Choose, and within a week it was fully funded by the MakerBot company. Karen's message You're to other to teachers what? who think their school can't afford a learning tool like this is the same as it is for her students. Make adjustments and find a way to make it work. You know, the bottom line is try to explore options. You know, what is available, whether it be a grant or through Donors Choose or other, you know, outside um, alternatives to your typical budget. Kids use their math, physics, their creations were amazing. We've put the link for the website Donors Choose and the MakerBot company on our website, cbsboston.com for you. And while you're there, let us know if you've heard of other great things happening in our schools. Email us at ioneducation at cbs.com or tweet me at Paula Eben WBZ. Just get the creative juices going when you get something like that in the oh, classroom. And the kids love it when they can visualize something like that. Very Incredible. cool. Yeah, good stuff. Hit